Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add a contact form to your WordPress website. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. Uh, there's plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. With that will get started and if at any time you want to skip ahead there's a table of contents listed below. Uh, you might have already seen this video once or there's a certain step you're stuck on. Just feel free to skip ahead at any time. First you want to pick the page you want to add the form to. Um, usually it's going to be the contact page, so we're going to go right there. All right, here's our contact page. has all the directions and everything. Um, it's another plugin that we showed you guys how to use, um, adding directions right from the site. Uh, I also attached a link to that tutorial in this video as well. All right, so now that we picked the page, we're going to go right to edit page. All right, so here it is. We're going to try to get it in right under this phone number. So the first thing you want to do is install the plugin that we're going to be using. First, you're going to go to plugins, hit add new. I do want to leave it because we don't have a short code yet. In the search box, you want to type in fast, secure contact form. I also attached a link to where you can download it in the description. Okay, so it's going to be the first one on the list, Fast Secure Contact Form by Mike Chalice. Install now. Alright, activate the plugin. Alright, so that's all set. Now the options for this plugin are going to be under plugins, drop it down to FS contact form options. Alright, here are some of the forms that are in there now. We're going to be working on form one, which is already selected. Drop down, unless you want to keep this text in here, you can delete it. You don't, that would just be some random text that's above the form, but you can also just type that in on the page you're going to be putting it on. So just delete that, keep scrolling down. You want to put in your, your email address that you want the form to go to. Keep scrolling down. The subject that, you know, you can do the subject that you want, but just keep scrolling all the way down until you get to the, here we go, form, parentheses, form one. The default values are name, email, subject, and message. I'm going to leave those all in there for now. Just go right back to the top. Just hit update options. And right in the middle of the page, where under usage, it says add the short code in the page post text widget. Short code for this form, and you'll have it right here. Just copy that, the brackets, and what's between the brackets right there. Hit copy. Now, again, we're going to go to the pages. And we're going to select our contact page. Okay, switch to visual whenever you put in a short code in, just in case, so it doesn't get messed up. No, switch from visual to HTML. I'm sorry. See where the phone number is? Just drop it down. I'm going to get the short code pasted right in there. Hit update. Check it. Make sure it looks all right. All right, and there's the form, name, email, subject, and message. Also with a nice little captcha so you don't have the spammers um, um, messing up your, your forms. We'll go over a few of the different options that you can add in. We'll also do another separate tutorial for adding things like radio buttons, check boxes, and stuff like that. But that'll have to be for another day. This is just simply adding a simple contact form but um, we will have a more advanced tutorial uh, available shortly. So go back to plugins, FS contact form options, scroll down to where we were before. You'll notice that you'll have name, email, subject, message. Maybe you want, maybe you at least want to add a phone number into there. What you want to do is, after name, you can make email, keep that up there. Uh, you could either do not required or not available. We're going to do not available. 
to get rid of these so we can put stuff in front of it. And now here's extra field one. Type in phone number. And then the field type is text, but there are options for them. But you want to do text. And then down. All right, we want to keep a message field in here, so we'll do message. But we want it to be in this order, so message. Now, not t instead of text, you want it to be text area. Right, scroll up again, hit update options. We can be able to look at the updated form on our website. All right, see, so now you have name, email, phone number, and message with the CAPTCHA. OK, and then if you are in a rush to get this updated and you want to be able to use some of those advanced options like checkboxes, one way to do it before having to see the tutorial would be to scroll down to uh, Form, Standard Fields, and then where, right here it says Extra Fields. Click on Click here to see it in instructions for Extra Fields. And then this will be, give you kind of a, it's a little intimidating to look at, but if you do need do need to get it done right away, you can read these instructions and it should you know help you out in setting those. All right, so by the end of this, you'll be able to at least add a form that collects this general information to whatever page you want. For multiple forms, you just do the same process. Say you wanted to put a form on your about page for any reason. Go back to your contact form. Instead of doing form one, do form two. If you wanted to collect different information, or if you wanted to do the same exact form that's on the contact page, you would just copy the same co short code and put it in your about page. Okay, so this has been another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress e marketing tutorials. Give you the keys to web presence, putting you in the fast lane of success. Um, be sure to check out more on our website at startcompete.com/tutorials.